As I flew over the floating islands and saw what it really was, I was shocked, surprised, and excited because it my channel it's your girl magical fray i hope you're getting to do what you want to do today because you can and you're alive in today's video i'm going to be storytelling a dream that i had where i was island hopping in a dream dimension if you love art if you love painting if you love story times smash that like button hit that bell notification so you can get immediately notified when i upload a dream story so without further ado let's get into the story <laughs> so as you can see here I have a 12 by 12 canvas I already measured and pre-sketched my dream in my sketchbook and onto my canvas so I'm gonna get close so you can see the deets as you can see I have my islands on the side I have this walkway where there's me right here with fairy wings and I'm walking towards an island that has a portal that is opening up and revealing its destination to me. So cool. This dream was so vivid and bright and just so beautiful. So as you already know, I got my paint, I got my water here, I got my paintbrushes, and I am going to be starting on the edges, but this time I'm going to be using a sponge to get that space galaxy texture on the canvas. So, so I grabbed some colors here, I got some blacks, some greens, some purples, and I'm gonna mix them all up. And we're gonna get into the story. So last week, Wednesday night, I slept for like 12 hours. There are just some times where you just can't get enough sleep, but there are days where you just sleep and you have deep sleeps. And this is where I'm one of those sleeps where I slept and I dreamt so much. I dare say I probably had maybe like five, six dreams, maybe eight total, and one specific dream just really came through and it was super vivid, and that was the one that I could remember that night. So the reason why I remember this dream, because all the other dreams I was actually hopping. I was hopping from dream to dream to dream. It was a different scenery in like all of the dreams that I was in. I knew that I was in a planet that was just full of sea life and then I was on another dream where I was a ninja and then we were chasing dinosaurs. We were chasing dinosaurs and the reason why we were chasing dinosaurs, this is so weird, the reason why we were chasing dinosaurs because we had to get their egg and it was a, it was a mission right we got an egg and this this type of egg had a certain power that the boss that I was working for needed but anyway I remember I was hopping on houses and then I hopped on a house and then I saw an opening in the sky where there was like a different dimension or it was a different place and I I hopped I hopped my ninja feet into the air. Luckily I wasn't holding a dinosaur egg and then I just kind of jumped into that portal. And then hence, that was the portal that I jumped to, this, this specific image. And let me tell you, when I jumped into this portal, my, my image changed. I was a fairy and honestly I was naked. I was naked, my hair was down, and this time my wings evolved. I remember my other dream story, my wings were very small, I was a very small character when I painted it, and this time it's more detailed, I have more wings here, I don't know if you can see, but I have three on each side, so definitely evolving and definitely getting bigger, so I thought that was really cool that I saw myself that way. So. As I realized, I looked at myself, I looked at my hands, I looked at the color of my skin. It was just a beautiful Milanin color. And I could not see my face, but I could just look down at my hands and be like, oh, cool. And for some reason, I'm not wearing any clothes. So that's what I'm going with. So honestly, I drew, I drew this fairy with just a butt behind and I might just draw, I might just paint over like some clothes because I don't know if I'm trying to be, you know, painting naked bodies yet <laughs> anyways i realized i was in this different dimension and it was quiet and 
there was no temperature i wasn't cold i was not hot and i realized that i was just on floating island and i looked down and there was grass and but it wasn't green grass it was purple grass it was beautiful honestly it felt celestial there and even though it was you know a dream dimension it was a little dark it was a little scary but like as i was in that dream dimension i saw an energy orb from from a distance and that got me curious i was like what is that let me go fly over there i'm gonna go hop on these islands so i can see what is up over there as i flew over the floating islands and saw what it really was i was shocked surprised and excited because it wasn't just like an orb it was actually a portal as i got closer to it from far away it just looked like a bright light it had a variety of bright lights so i finally got onto an island where there was an actual walkway towards another floating island where the portal was just like opening itself and from far away it had pastel colors it was glowing in front of me and it if anything it kind of like drew me in like i was supposed to go there so i took the chance and i started walking on the walkway towards the portal and the portal was like opening like it realized my presence was there and it was just like opening and then it was becoming wavy on the edges of the portal and then it started opening in the middle and it started to reveal what was truly in the portal and it was another destination like another dream dimension and oh my god i've been there before so i recognized that place and in that i remember in that moment when i recognized that place i was just thinking to myself like did i just go into my dream files and it just popped up like honestly i've been there before i didn't remember the name of it as you probably know i am definitely a visual person so seeing the place i remembered it i just could not remember the name and it was just peaceful it was calm i felt like i meditated there before i felt like that place was also home in a way because i've been there so many times and me being aware that i knew that it was a, another dream i knew that was the next destination while i was in this deep sleep so crazy so as you already know when you start to wake up you know your eyes start to flutter start to get out of the dream land and i realized that i was in this particular dream this last part of the dream even though i knew there was another dream ahead of me in this portal as the dream was fading i got a glimpse of this whole image of me walking towards the portal me walking towards this glowy portal into another dream and i got to see myself with more details i saw myself just walking on the walkway and i captured that i captured that as i was waking up because i was like that is so beautiful i can't believe i just saw myself walking towards into another dream like the process and i remember that like me walking into another dream knowing that I've been there before and knowing that I wanted to go. I thought it was just so cool. I was like, wow, I'm really remembering dreams now. Like I'm tapping in. I'm tapping in. And I'm I'm loving it. I love it here. <laughs> if anything, I love it. I love it in my dream even more. <laughs> so yeah that dream was honestly so fast honestly that night i know that i dreamt like eight dreams but this one was the only one that really came through this was the only one that was truly vivid i felt like this was a sign to truly remember the process and you know the adventure of me going into another dream dimension but only this one i remembered and I knew it was me. I knew it was me, you know. I mean, in all of my dreams, I know it's me, but I always look different in all of my dreams. But this one, fairy came out, my hair came out, the long hair. You, you already know, like, I've been obsessed with fairy, cottagecore, like, nature, like, anything with portals, circles, stars. <laughs> you already know. So, yeah, this was a magical moment for me that I had to create it I had to make my magic I had to remember this dream I wanted to remember this picture you know how like when you want to travel somewhere you want to, you have to go to the airport sometimes if you don't want to drive so I felt like this place was like an airport to my next destination so I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna paint this airport 
I'm gonna paint this airport because this airport is not like no other airport. It is fast, efficient, and straightforward. <laughs> not where you have to buy a ticket. It's like, I'm literally just walking on a walkway. It's like, oh, all right, on to the next dream. <laughs> so yeah, that was a really quick story that I just told, but honestly, the dream was so much, was so profound and so magical that I had to create a video. I had to paint this out and I had to share it with you guys because I love sharing my dreams and I love painting them and I like showing you what I can create. This is me making my own magic and I love it. I love it here. So yeah. <laughs> you already know I'm just going to be painting this for days. I always get, every time I get, I'm painting for days, I just get lost and I kind of forget about the world. I forget about social media. I sometimes I forget to drink. I, sometimes I forget to eat. I'm like focused. I am like immersed. Like I'm in it. <laughs> I really am in it. Like I'm living in it and seeing it again. I'm reliving it and that's beautiful and magical. So yeah, I really hope you love that dream story of mine. This one is definitely one of my favorites. Just because I captured something that was something that I didn't think I could remember. Uh -huh. Alas! I remembered. <laughs> yeah! I'm just gonna be finishing this for the next few days. going to be finishing up this weekend before I varnish it so definitely check out my art website at magicalfrey.com to see the full detail the color the finish everything yes so yes this is my dream coming to life yes I love it so much another dream painting of mine but yes i'm definitely gonna be thinking about names for this magical dreamy piece please smash that like button if you love this dream story if you love art if you like painting and you just like how it just came out it came out so dreamy i'm just like so dreamy so colorful yeah so i hope you have a magical day being your magical self and i'll see you next time bye Not sexy, I know. Honestly, it's so cool to think that I have some type of transportation in my dream with a set of wings. I'm flying everywhere. I don't need no car. I don't need no plane. I got my wings. I got me. I can't believe I was dreaming about being a ninja while being chased by a dinosaur. <laughs> what? First of all, ninja. Second of all, dinosaur? I feel like two different eras clashing. Like, I'm trying to remember what I was watching before I dreamt that night. I'm over here thinking like, did I watch Alien? <laughs> did I watch some creature show? Like Jurassic or something? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Cause you're, you, know, you know what happens when you watch something before you sleep and whatever you watch influences what you're gonna be dreaming. Yeah. So cool. I just love the way Metallic looks. Like, I just want a metallic everything now. Gold, silver, rose gold, gunmetal, all the colors. Can you even see? Can you even see the color? I love how it like reflects. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> Cosmic fly, fly, fly fairy, fairy fly?
I'm like thinking of it as fairy fly, fly fairy, mystical, mystical magic. <laughs> I gotta think about names. I gotta think about names. <laughs>